Hello YouTube, it's Tony. So today I'll be showing you an AFK Divination Money Making Guide. Now before I get started, I know Cursed Energies are 1.5 times faster, but I decided not to include this method. Just check the description and I'll give you more information about this. So what I'm going to be using is a Divine Omatic Vacuum, and this is an invention device. Now this requires level 101 invention, and also requires level 95 divination, just so you can harvest incandescent energies. Alright, so here are my recommended levels. You want to have 81 summoning, so that way you can summon a Nightmare Muspa. The Sliski's endgame quest reward also helps, and that is for Ring of Whispers. Then I also suggest you have Memorial to Guthix perk, and this is called Ethereal Connection. So what this thing does is it makes Divination Springs last longer. Then finally I recommend 86 Magic, as well as the Light Within quest. That way you can access Prism of Dowsing, which is in the Ancient Spellbook. So I'm going to be using this at the Incandescent Divination spot, so you can get there directly from using the Max Guild Skill Portal. This only requires 1 level 99 to attune, I mean otherwise you can just use an Elder Divination outfit to teleport there. Alright so here's my equipment setup. Well first and foremost, I have the Divine Omatic Vacuum. And so here are the materials required to craft them. You need 120 powerful components, 180 metallic parts, and 750 smooth parts. After that, I'd suggest getting the full Elder Divination outfit. I only have the regular Elite Divination outfit. Now this is basically a Treasure Hunter reward. It's supposed to be obtainable in game by now, but I think it should be obtainable soon however. So what this outfit does is there's a 7.5% chance of harvesting two memories at once. Now the regular Elite Divination outfit only gives you 5%. There's also a 5% chance you can harvest five times the energy, which can really be helpful here. After that I have the Ring of Whispers, and this is the Sliski's Endgame reward. Basically it will give you three invisible divination levels. Now honestly this should really help increase the chance of finding enriched memories. So the Necklace of Shadows will stop summoning points from draining after the Muspa has been initially summoned. Then finally I have the Tier 2 Enrichment Aura, and this will give me 7% extra chance of enriched harvests. I bring runes for casting Prism of Dowsing, which is Nature, Soul, Fire, and Earth runes. You can also bring Divination Urns as well as Urn Enhancer, I mean it's pretty optional but it really helps you get extra XP. I'm only after money here so I didn't bother to bring it. I really suggest you bring a Muspa Familiar. Each pouch lasts 58 minutes, and it costs around 30k, so it adds a 3% chance of finding enriched memories, as well as a 5% chance to harvest 4 times the energy. So I'm going to be explaining to you how the Divine Omatic works. This requires what is called Empty Divine Charges, and you'll definitely need a lot of them. So you can craft them on any invention workbench, and the materials for this are 20 simple parts. Otherwise you can just simply buy it off the GE. So this device can store up to 100 Empty Divine Charges. So there are two different modes you can toggle, both of them will fill Empty Divine Charges. The first one's going to be converting energy to Divine Charges automatically, and then the second one's going to be converting energy as well as memories to Divine Charges. Now if you were to manually convert them at a rift, it will fill Divine Charges at just about the same rate. So if you were to siphon both energy and memories, here's how it works. So the memories will have a 50% chance of being destroyed unsuccessfully. So when that happens, the divine charge will not fill from the memory, but it will still fill from the energy. Now if it's actually successful, then the divine charge will be filled with both energy and memories, as if you were to normally convert them to a rift. Regardless of what happens, you'll never need to fill your inventory space with divine memories. Now the enriched memories will fill a lot faster. So with all that being said, I really suggest you toggle the second option, which makes it a lot AFK and faster. So here's how the Prism of Dowsing works. You're going to activate this from your Ancient Siren spellbook, and a prism will appear for 5 minutes. So what it does is it increases the chance of enriched memories, and it also draws wisps closer to the prism. So because there's less movement needed, this actually increases the amount of energies per hour. Now the really cool thing about this is that you can actually share it with others. I think World 2 and World 48 have a lot of prisms, I'm not really sure. Alright, so here's the strategy. So you're just going to place a prism of dowsing near a cluster of divination springs. So you're pretty much going to AFK gather the energies, and don't forget, every 20 minutes you want to harvest the enriched spring. So once you're done, just right click withdraw the full divine charges from your divine omatic, just to cash them all in. Alright, so in conclusion, you can get around 45 divine charges per hour. This is using the following boosts. The Muspa, the Ring of Whispers, the regular Elite Divination Outfit, the Prism of Dowsing, and then the Tier 2 Enrichment Aura. If you were to use Superior Energy Gathering Scrimshaw, this will get you around 51 charge packs per hour. Now this Scrimshaw costs around 2 mil, and it will last you 3 hours. So essentially I'm getting around 400k worth of extra divine charges. However, this Scrimshaw does cost you 660k GP per hour. Now if you were to do this for money, then the extra energies won't be worth the opportunity cost, even if you're using the Superior version. I mean you're just better off using the Ancient Bones on Scrimshaw Vampirism, than selling them to the GE. So anyways, I purchased the empty packs for around 7.5k each, and so you can expect around 3 mil to 4 mil profit per hour. The amount of divination XP per hour you can get is around 30k. 
So honestly, this is fairly AFK overall. I mean, this was actually AFK enough for me to organize and edit my video. But yeah, you can maybe even do this with two or three alts. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope it helps. If I miss anything, feel free to ask.